Good morning. Hey, I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg. It's Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. Thank you for joining Mount Horeb Lutheran Church and our daily devotions together. We have been opening up scripture and hearing the living word each day during this pandemic. And I invite you to get your Bible out and turn to the Gospel of John, which who is what what is what we will hear today. Uh, John chapter 11, verse 45 through 57. So as you know, we've been dwelling in the word. We've been asking, what is up? What is, uh, what strikes your attention today? And um, through hearing this word and then what questions come about and what might God be saying to you and to all of us through this? All right, I turned to the wrong passage. John chapter 11 is right after, um, or what we will be hearing is right after Jesus raised Lazarus from the tomb. Uh, it's the, it's the after that story is over. So the last words of the last verse were, unbind him and let him go. And then here is today's word. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it's better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation and not for the nation only, but to gather into, into, into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer walked about openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with the disciples. <clears throat> now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? Now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know so that they may arrest him. The word of the Lord for the people of God Thanks be to God. So, if you know where we are in the story, we are, like I said, after Jesus raised Lazarus and before, well, the next subtitle says Mary anoints Jesus, um, and before, obviously, Holy Week and the, resur the uh, crucifixion, the passion, and... Um, just to put it in context, I just wanted to say that. So today we hear these words. I wonder what jumped out to you, what what stuck out to you about this reading. What, what stuck out to me is that Jesus, at the end of it, decided to no longer walk about openly among the Jews. And that just struck me because um, he went to a region near the wilderness where his uh, ministry essentially started or uh, yeah well his ministry started in, in the wilderness after his baptism um, all of these all of these ongoing uh, circumstances contextual things that are happening in this passage also strike me that uh, 
the people who are meeting are religious leaders and they are under the pressures of the Roman government. So they, they are in both worlds, both Roman and Greek and uh, Jewish and leaders who are trying to do be all of those things at once, which, um, as we know, is difficult. Uh, so there is a truth that is that comes to light in the middle of it, where Caiaphas basically says, "You don't understand what's going on. Wouldn't won't, don't we want to protect?" our nation therefore one man is better than die better to have one man die than for the whole uh, Jewish nation and um, that's of course another thing that jumps out to me uh, but to then go back to the beginning I'm working backwards here aren't I to go back to the beginning um, this is all founded in the miracle of Jesus's healing and life-giving power that was uh, a pretty big <laughs> big deal in the raising of Lazarus so from that life-giving miracle comes this conspiring to kill and uh, we know that is the uh, that is the story of Jesus, how he did not um, stop healing and, and speaking the truth. He did go all the way to the cross for the sake of all nations, not just the nation that that, that religious leader was speaking of. You know, that's one thing that we often need to um, remind ourselves that when the Bible says religious leaders, uh, it's it's really hard to distinguish between it, back in that back in those days between government and religious. So they were both, and like I said at the beginning, that's really hard. Um, and so that's part of our history too, as Americans: separation of church and state. Right? Uh, that kind of happened. That's an example of the pendulum swing of history. We we are uh, in it the, in the long haul, aren't we? We have seen we have seen both sides. So today, I just invite you to dwell on this word again and to ask yourself: When have you had a moment of clarity that seems? to come from another source because that's another thing I think of when Caiaphas spoke up did he really know what he was saying was he speaking out of fear yeah but he was also speaking from a place of truth that pr probably may have been the Holy Spirit working among among them even in that uh, way of plotting to kill Jesus that is a horrible thing to say but but he was speaking from a place of truth so that is where we will end today and where our prayer will begin will you pray with me dear god thank you for being here with us on this october day we are thankful for the sunshine we are thankful for the moments that you give to us the moments of truth the moments of wisdom, the moments of basking in your glory and your goodness, and also what we know was uh, Jesus's story of healing and suffering and proclaiming the truth. Help us to be um, just one of those things today and be with us as we are your children. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you on Friday.